Yo, what's going on my amigos and amigas? Welcome back to a brand new video. I know that I've been gone for like a day or two. Has it been three? I, I, I don't know. I've officially lost track of time. School is up my ass this time. Like homework after homework. It's like chill. I gotta do daily videos or else I'm gonna end up on the streets. But uh, anyways, you guys, hope everyone's doing fantastic. Someone sent me the link to this video. And as soon as I saw the title, YouTuber making fun of homeless, man. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed my microphone, which has a sock on. And I said, you know what? Let's just get right into it, my amigos and amigas. The water and there is this like hobo guy in there and his feet smell so bad like i was literally just getting a straw to put in my macchiato so i was getting my macchiato with my um pumpkin slice latte with extra sugar and with five dollars of whipped cream and that's when i just saw this homeless person like oh my god poor people are the worst poor people disgust me can poor people just i don't know die or something i, I don't know okay so many things wrong number one you're using straws hashtag save the turtles number two you're just being an annoying little bitch homeless people eco scary i could i get it it's not like i see a homeless person i'm like yo can i take a picture with you can i hug you can i kiss you know when i see a homeless person i just like ignore him or i just walk away but i do not take my fucking iphone start filming and saying yo look check out this poor person right here i'm just getting my starbucks my daily starbucks because i rock like that and this homeless person just walked in do poor people smell bad yes they're fucking homeless <laughs> i don't get these people like if you just see this like just walk away this doesn't require you to take out your phone phone and attack a homeless person like this for absolutely no reason instead of filming here why don't you i don't know give him five dollars but no let me humiliate him and i am not claiming to be the ceo of nice i am not claiming to be the nicest person alive because i'm not but i wouldn't do this oh, and i smell something I terrible and i look around and i'm looking for what smells really bad i'll insert the picture here there is a hobo right next to me and this guy smells so bad omg maybe you're with your family right let's say you're with your family you walk into the starbucks and you try to get the pumpkin slice latte right october's coming up so you walk in you see a homeless person and you know he smells like garbage he smells like morning breath he smells like expired tacos it's not just saying oh my god you know who's the stinky one here you keep that in your mind you don't make a video on it and then take a picture of him upload it to instagram or snapchat by the way follow me on instagram please i beg you i need cloud on there you would have forgotten about it if you would have said you know what this guy smells like shit i'm gonna just grab my order or why don't you just leave let's say you don't want to leave just grab your order and leave there's no need to take a picture of the guy and then record it and like he's a homeless person what do you expect do you, do you expect homeless people to smell like daisies maybe someone gave them five dollars decided to get a cheap coffee once again i am not here you know giving all my money to charities you know helping out the, the struggling people out there this is just completely unnecessary the only reason why someone would do this is for attention i smell something terrible and i look around and i'm looking for what smells really bad i'll insert the picture here there was a hobo right next to me and his feet were like growing out of his sandals and there was mold in between them and uh, he smelled like Ass. So I grabbed my macchiata and my pumpkin slice latte and I threw it at his feet so hard that it burned him. He fell, hit his head on the counter, and fucking died. Of course, everyone has had encounters with homeless people, but at the end of the day, if they're not harassing you, you know, after all, they're humans. Whether that guy has $5 or he has $5 million in his bank account, I think as long as they're being polite, as long as they're not bothering you, I think people should be treated with respect no matter what. Unless they're annoying little pricks, then I support bullying in that case. What would I do in this? situation i would do nothing i wouldn't take my phone out i wouldn't bash him i wouldn't take pictures of him i would just hold my breath if it smells that bad once again we don't know if this guy got five dollars so he said you know what here this is so you can get a slice of cake or a coffee or the Starbucks unicorn drink. Whatever you want. Here's $10, right? I don't know if that's what happened. He decided, you know what? I haven't had Starbucks in forever. Let me go get some of that shit. His life is bad enough. And for you to go the extra mile and post this on social media, like, come on, dog. This girl right here is such a douchebag that I honestly wouldn't be surprised if she would have filmed herself giving the homeless guy like $20 to show how much of a nice person she is. Because we all know if you didn't capture it on camera, if you didn't film it, and you didn't post it, it never happened. Am I right or am I right? All right, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to take a quick break from my homework for studying. Just bring you this video that I found, and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Peace out.